How are human beings going to look in the next 100,000 years? And how are human beings who go and colonize Mars and other planets going to look differently from us? And what's going to cause the evolution of human beings? So in 1832, Robert Fitzroy was a captain surveying the coast of Southern America, asked the young geologist to come lead the investigation of this coast. But the young geologist was Charles Darwin, and they were supposed to be there for two years in the islands, but they ended up being there for five years. So during that period, Charles Darwin studied the animals and plants of these islands thoroughly to come up with what we know now infamously or famously known as the theory of evolution. So the ones with the traits that benefits the most will survive and the ones that do not will die out eventually. So this leads to speciation where a species creates a new and distinctly different one from any other that is already existing. So this process is forced by environmental factors, basically survival of the fetus. But now it's different with the increase of civilization. So such things as the dinosaur or the cyber tooth tiger that's used to hunt human beings are no longer dominating the world. They're basically extinct, so we don't have any natural prey. So the things that force us to evolve have changed completely. So the question I always ask myself is evolution ended, is it done? Are we going to look like this even 100,000 from now, right? So this is the journey that I want to take you in to try to, to make you understand how human beings will eventually evolve. So now the way I say it's no longer survival of the fetus, but reproduction of the fetus because we have to find a mate that's going to be able to raise children in an unnatural environment that we've created. So these processes to adapt to the modern world have already shown with the addition of grain and milk into our diet, we've built in or have grown and developed genes that are able to digest starch and milk. Even with cities, when they allow the diseases to spread, we've developed mutations for resistance. So basically, unnatural conditions prefers unnatural selection instead of natural selection. Since I've explained that we're already evolving, how are we going to look in the next 100,000 years? In the past century, human beings have gotten taller. Just look at the statistics from South Korea in which from 1941 up until now, when their economy has thrived, human beings have gotten taller and taller. So this is common with most animals. As time goes on, they become larger and larger. This is seen with dinosaurs, whales, horses, and primates. So the gain of our height is mostly based on nutrition, as I've mentioned, with economic prosperity in South Korea. So even with animals, when they get more nutrition, they grow bigger and bigger. So this is going to keep improving, of course, and human beings are going to get taller and taller. Our bone density and muscles have decreased and they keep decreasing less and less since we don't need to use brute force. Our teeth and jaws have shrinked because our modern food doesn't need it since it's so processed, it doesn't need much strength from the jaw or even from the teeth so that we are able to digest them. Our brains are getting smaller since we are losing the parts of the brain that are responsible for hunting and navigating throughout the forest and etc. and other things that we don't understand clearly right now. But this doesn't mean we're getting more stupid, but it means that we're enhancing the other parts of the brain. Look at Einstein here smaller than average brain, but look at what he did. It's a fucking genius. So with the information that I've gathered here, uh, tall human beings, smaller jaws, uh, smaller muscles and bone density, how are we going to look? So basically, when you look at this, I think we're looking at Sheldon Cooper or Pete Davidson. Come to think of it, myself as well. I'm evolved to my